Well, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell facing the House budget panel earlier today for a second day on the Hill. He repeated his warning that the ballooning debt could limit their ability to minimize economic downturn. But that event won't be happening soon, at least according to Powell. We're the world's reserve currency. We are the strongest country. We have the best institutions. We have the best labor force. You know, we are we have such strengths that I think I think possibly the day of reckoning is could be quite far off. You see countries with much, much higher levels of debt to GDP moving along. And what, ha what happens is kind of a slow motion stagnation as opposed to a financial crisis. The U.S. budget deficit jumped 34 percent in October year on year on pace to top one trillion dollars for the first time in eight years. Joining us is Dan Deming. He is a managing director at KKM Financial. Dan, so we should point out that uh, Jay Powell was responding to a question about uh, whether, in fact, uh, you know, sort of the, the, the repercussions of this growing debt would be there 10 years down the line. He essentially said, look, it's going to take much longer. But he has been warning about the big concern there and that there may not be enough fiscal levers to pull in the case of a downturn. How do you see that picture right now? Well, I think he was very pragmatic in his message, and I think it, all indications are that it's nothing that's going to, you know, evolve in a very short term. But longer term, it's something that ultimately, you know, the U.S. is going to have to contend with and other countries across the globe. And that's another reason why I think we continue to see this compression in interest rates. But as he pointed out, you know, from a short-term perspective, you know, there's still enough strength underlying this economic structure that he's not too concerned about it. It is interesting that he delivered the message today that basically he's not seeing any sector, you know, that's out of line here. Uh, uh, certainly when you look at employment growth, that's still a, a, in a nice trajectory higher. And, and the one thing I think he pointed out that really brought a bid back into the bond market today and pushed rates lower is the fact that he still doesn't see inflation out there. And as long as the Fed doesn't see inflation, that gives them the ability to possibly move in the future. Even though they're on hold for the time being, he indicated that, hey, no inflation probably will give them a little more leverage on that point that you just made uh, about what Jay Powell said in terms of where we are in the cycle because he said look when you look at past cycles uh, this time around we're not seeing specific sectors heating up like a real estate which he right. said means that it's on much more sustainable footing he doesn't see a slowdown anytime soon and yet as you point out we've seen the bond slide um, what do you think is pushing that sentiment yeah, I think, you know, again, I think the market got a little overdone on the, you know, to the, uh, the sell-off side when you look at the bonds selling off. You saw rates, a 10-year getting just below 2%. You know, we did saw, we just saw quite a, a rotation there taking place. And today's message, or I should say the last two days' message basically was one that, hey, we're on hold, but the market had already priced that in. Uh, and now the, the indications are that he doesn't see any structural issues moving forward for quite some time, so that was the support mechanism. But I think, again, playing into the fact that he indicated that they're still not seeing inflation, that gives them the flexibility, and I think that's why we're seeing, again, a rotation taking place today, where we're seeing a rotation, you know, back into bonds and, you know, equities kind of holding the line, but we're also seeing uh, interest rates, you know, coming under some pressure. We're seeing gold and silver benefit from that. Okay, Dan Deming, good to see you again today. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.